this is David with Cartoon Fortress. Really happy to have you back here on the channel today, and I'm really excited to bring you another unboxing video. The titles that I'll be featuring today come to us from the Criterion Collection. Now, three of the four of these titles are Blu-ray upgrades, and one of them is a new spine number uh, to the collection. Recently, I did have a birthday, which my family knows that's time to throw me a movie or two. Thank you very much for those of you that, that did so and you know exactly who you are. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Uh, the, the first two titles are ones that I have previously viewed and they come highly recommended. Whether you get this on Amazon or on the Criterion site or during a flash sale or at the Barnes & Noble sale, uh, these titles come highly recommended. So the first one that we have here is spine number 425, so this is a Blu-ray upgrade. And this is a film by Hiroshi Teshigahara, and this is Antonio Gaudi from 1984. This comes in at a runtime of 72 minutes, so nothing long at all. But what we have here is a really wonderful meditation on art and architecture and how we interact with those things. There's not even as much as a narration to be had with this particular production. There's a very nice uh, kind of minimalist score that accompanies the footage that Teshigahara shot. And it's a beautiful experience. It's almost a spiritual experience the way that it's presented here. And I fell in love with it immediately. I've seen it one time and I'm really excited to jump in and watch it again. I'll be doing that very soon. And we get a slew of uh, special edition features here including a new, uh, or sorry, not a new, but a high digital restoration with uncompressed mo uh, monorail soundtrack, an interview from 2008 with architect Arata uh, Isozaki, uh, Gaudi Catalonia, 1959, footage from director Hiroshi Teshigahara's first trip to Spain, God's architect Antonio Gaudi, an hour long documentary from 2003 on the architect's life and work, BBC program from 1961 on Gaudi by filmmaker Ken Russell, sculptures by Sofu, uh, Vita, a 1963 short film by Teshigahara on the sculpture work of his father, Sofu Teshigahara, a trailer, and then plus we get a booklet with essays uh, like we're used to and excerpts from a 1959 conversation among the Teshigaharas and others about their trip to the West. So this is a really packed feature, and again, one that comes highly recommended. Next up, a title again that I have also seen, this is also a Blu-ray upgrade. This is from 1969, and this is spine number 122. This is a film by David Mazels and Albert Mazels, as well as Charlotte Zwerin. And this is Salesman. This is a really peculiar film. So this came out in the 60s and it basically follows a group of Bible salesmen. And it's one of those, those types of documentaries where the camera's present and then they just kind of let things happen. And so what we have are some uh, kind of a mix of really awkward kind of sales pitch moments they're in people's homes selling Bibles. And so it's this really interesting mix also of a kind of religion meets capitalism and the awkward interactions that they have with people when they're going into their homes and, you know, asking them about going on payment plans to, to purchase the Bible. And which is just kind of a kind of an odd Kind of an odd thing um, but it's a really interesting human piece and we see kind of the the day-to-day -day interactions of the the salesman and uh, I know this one's got some really great special features so again this is from 1969 a runtime of 91 minutes this is shot in black and white and I know uh, someone who really admires this particular production is Bill Hader. In fact, among the, uh, the special features here, we have Globesman, a 2016 episode of the television series Documentary Now, 
which Hader stars in alongside uh, Fred Armisen. So that's included here. And then also going back on looking on the film itself, we get a uh, 4K digital transfer undertaken by the Academy Film Archive, the Film Foundation, and the George Lucas Family Foundation with uncompressed monorail soundtrack, audio commentary from 2001 featuring director uh, directors Albert Maisels and Charlotte Zwerin, new appreciation of the film by actor Bill Hader, and then the, the Globesman episode, and then... A uh, television interview from 1968 with directors David and Albert Maisels, conducted by critic Jack Kroll. Audio excerpt from a 2000 episode of NPR's Weekend Edition profiling James Baker, one of the salesmen featured in the film, and a trailer, and then the uh, essays in the booklet that's included. So if you're into documentaries and just kind of, kind of peculiar... Uh, human behavior and, and interaction that type of thing this is a surefire hit it's definitely something that i'm glad to have among my kind of documentary collection but uh comes highly recommended all right next up we have uh spine number one zero two one um so let me correct myself so this is a new spine number to the collection so this is not an upgrade um, I want to say that this was available though on Laserdisc. Uh, drop a comment down below if you know, but uh, this is Edna Ferber's Showboat, directed by James Whale. I, as soon as they announced this, I, I did some research on it. I was actually talking to my mom about this particular film, and this is one that she was aware of. Um, this is completely new to me, so I'm really excited to jump in. Um, and this is from 1936, a runtime of 113 minutes. And we do uh, get a new restoration, a 4K digital transfer with uncompressed monorail soundtrack, uh, audio commentary from 1989 featuring American musical historian Miles Kruger, new interview with James Whale biographer James Curtis, recognizing race in Showboat, a new interview program featuring Professor and author Shana L. Redmond, Paul Robeson, Tribute to an Artist from 1979, an Academy Award-winning short documentary by Saul J. Turrell, uh, or Turrell, newly restored, four performances from the sound prologue of the 1929 film version of Showboat, including songs from the original Broadway cast members Helen Morgan, Jules Bledsoe, and Tess Gardella plus 20 minutes of silent excerpts from the film with an audio commentary by Kruger, two radio adaptations of, Sh of Showboat featuring stage and screen cast members Morgan, Alan Jones, and Charles Winninger, uh, producer Orson Welles, and novelist Edna Ferber, plus the essay book with an essay by critic uh, Gary Giddens. So really packed release here one that I'm really excited to watch and uh, can't wait to do so. And the last one that we have here, this was the first film in this uh, kind of partnership that we have between Criterion and Netflix. And this is a very recent film by Alfonso Quiron. Uh, and this is Roma. Uh, this comes in a very nice uh, digipack presentation. I know there's, I've seen other unboxings there's a really nice, uh, uh, thick book included in here. Um, but this is from 2018, again, very recent film. Um, and this was in the Academy Awards picture, uh, yeah, a couple were, uh, a couple years ago. Uh, runtime on this is 135 minutes, and this is shot in black and white. Uh, this is uh, Mexico in the 1970s, as uh, the director, Alfonso Quiron, uh, remembers it so I uh, we get a very a very human piece um, and I've heard nothing but wonderful things yes I could have just watched it on Netflix first but I really wanted to go with the premium treatment that uh, Criterion is known for and that I know them for and uh, just do the blind buy and, and go for it that way 
So this release is absolutely packed. So we get a 4K digital master supervised by director Alfonso Quiron uh, with Dolby Atmos soundtrack, Road to Roma, a new documentary about the making of the film featuring behind the scenes footage of an interview with Quiron, uh, snapshots from the set, a new documentary featuring actors Yalitza Aparicio and Marina de Tavia. I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names. Uh, producers Gabriela Rodriguez and Nicolo, uh, Nicholas Celis. Production designer uh, Eugenio Caballero. Casting director Luis Rosales. Uh, executive producer David Lind and others. New documentaries about the film's sound and post-production processes featuring Quiron, uh, Sergio Diaz, Skip Leavesse, and Craig Hennigan from the post-production sound team, editor Adam Gao, post-production supervisor uh, Carlos Morales, and finishing artist Stephen J. Scott. New documentary about the film's ambitious theatrical campaign and social impact in Mexico featuring Celis and Rodriguez. Trailers, alternative French subtitles, and Spanish SDH plus uh, the booklet that I mentioned uh, featuring writing by novelist Valeria Luiselli, historian Enrique Kraus, and author Aurelio uh, Assain, along with production design images with notes by Caballero. So just an absolutely packed release here. Really excited to jump in and experience this film for the first time and then dive right into the supplements, including the the really stellar booklet that's included here. So uh, for, and I don't know if I said the spine number on this one, uh, so this is spine number 1014. So four releases that I'm really excited about. And what I wanna do is go ahead and get these unboxed and show you what, what you can expect on the inside and we'll go ahead and do that now.
right, guys. Thank you very much for dropping by the channel today. I hope that was enjoyable for you. Uh, Criterion continues to put out some astonishing releases. They've got some really great releases coming up over the next few months. And stay tuned in July for the Barnes Noble Criterion sale, the 50% off sale. With the current climate, with COVID-19 and everything going on, I'm not sure exactly how that will all play out, if that will be end up being a, an online only thing, if they're doing the, the curbside pickup or that type of thing. I'm not sure exactly how that will look as it is uh, still a couple months out. So hopefully by that time, maybe things are back a little bit more to normal, but or as close to normal as we can be. Um, but stay tuned for that sale. And then also uh, checking prices on Amazon and Criterion also through May 31st, they are offering 30% off on all in-stock discs. So that's a way to save a little bit of money right now as well. Um, and that's direct on the Criterion site at www.criterion.com. Now, if you found this video helpful in any way, I invite you to hit that subscribe button, the like button, and also the bell icon so that you'll be notified when I do upload new content. And as always, I welcome any comments that you may have. And until next time, this is David signing off with Cartoon Fortress, and I hope you have a wonderful day.